Good evening, guys. 大家晚上好 Today is twenty fifth of March. I'm speaking at Abuja in the house. Um, I called my mom today. I told her that、uh, Nigerians'、uh, situation is become worse in the coronavirus thing. My mom asked,、uh, "Am I doing the stay at home?" I say, "I'm doing the stay at home." My mom say, "Son, you are going to go through the first quarter of the year with stay at home." The reason why she says so is because I started doing、uh, self isolation when I went back to China from Nigeria in January. Since then, I was doing isolation in my hometown. Then, after more than one month, I left China. On twentieth of February, I came back to Nigeria, Abuja. On twenty first, twenty first of February, then I came to the house. I did self isolation up to almost twenty days before I went out to buy food stuff. Then after I got some things, you know, Lagos has confirmed a case during like around March. So I had the strong sense that things were not going well, because lots of people were not taking it serious, as what the Chinese are taking it. Lots of Chinese came back to Nigeria in that period of time, but up to now, the Chinese here are fine. But on the contrary, some non-Chinese people were being confirmed as cases. That's very. Terrible for for Nigeria and the whole country because everybody is at risk. For now, we all know the medical resources, the test kits are not enough. There is a good news today that、uh, the Chinese billionaire Jack Ma has donated the resources, which has already arrived in in Abuja through Lagos. Some people were not happy about that, but let's say there are some resources available. But we need to think before those resources are finished. Will the situation be over? Will we all be fine? I don't think so. There are some people who have been confirmed, especially some big men we know. But、uh, this thing has some dormant time up to fourteen days. What about in the upcoming two weeks, three weeks? What if the things become even worse? We need to think about it. How we can go through with this tough time, right? As I know that the private sectors are trying their best to buy things from abroad. Although, okay, I also noticed some people were spreading the news that some Chinese-made、uh, masks or test kits are fake, are not valid. I have to say that.、Uh, The thing about Chinese products is always like that. There are some Chinese products that are not up to quality, up to standard, but there are also very good Chinese products. Those who have bought it, they knew, they knew it. All over the world is using Chinese products. It's about there is nothing called cheap and quality. At the same time, it's very cheap. At the same time, it's very quality, like with high quality. But lots of people want to use small money to buy good things. It's very at this time. But we know, we all know, China is still producing the most of the medical resources, right? But here we Nigeria, you see, even Jack Ma's donation is equally distributed among all the African countries. But Nigeria is a big country, has、uh, the highest popul populace, the largest population in Africa, and we have so many people who return from U.S. from North America. So now we really think need to think about the solution for Nigeria to go through it. At this critical time, my own personal idea is this is not even a time talking about leadership, talking about those things that are too far from now. The moment at this moment, the key is to get medical resources to to make people stay at home, to test the people who has the risk. Right. Some countries did their best. They requested for help from China, from Japan, from South Korea. That's also my own personal idea. 
I, I do believe that what we need to do now is we should openly ask for help. Those countries who had the capacity, they are willing to help us. They can help us. But even when you want to help your brother, you want your brother to show the attitude, right? If you don't show the attitude, it's not that easy to, to get things as efficient as it's supposed to be. China is already been supporting Nigeria because Nigeria supported China. That is also a truth. Nigeria supported China and China is supporting Nigeria. I saw the news, the Chinese embassy also already did donation to the Ministry of Health and the Chinese embassy is in touch with the, the Ministry for getting more support. And uh, there are lots of uh, communications undergoing, but at the same time, I didn't see any news on Chinese TVs, on Chinese platforms. There isn't any voice from Nigeria. On the contrary, I know there are some other countries who requested for help from China, either by making a call to Chinese officials from their countries or deliver it through public media. Lots of Chinese are aware that some countries were asking for help and the Chinese people are being touched, being moved. They were willing to do the donation because of those words, those, those attitudes. But I didn't uh, get any uh, voice heard from Nigerian side to asking for help. I know there are might some things that is beyond my knowledge. For example, there is pride, there is dignity, there is a way of doing things, and Nigeria is a giant of Africa. There are lots of factors inside. But uh, what is more important than, than people's life at this critical time? Time. What is more important? I think the most important thing now is try to get resources. Every country is looking for resources. The resources are limited. The resources are in scarcity. China also has lots of brothers. Japan has lots of brothers. South Korea has lots of brothers. There needs to be a distribution of the resources, right? Even you have five brothers who are asking for help from you, you still take priority, right? Nigeria is a big country, has lots of population. We are now at the risk of these things. We can stay at home, but we need the medical resources. Private sectors are doing their best, but at the same time, especially when it comes to China, the government has very great capacities and resources that is stronger than private sectors in some aspects. So that's my idea that someone here, someone in Nigeria, someone can really request for help to the foreign agencies, to the countries who had the capacity. It's not a shame to ask for help. European countries can ask for help. Middle East country can ask for help. Southeast Asia countries can ask for help. Why we here, you see, maybe they ask for help, I don't know. But my solution at this critical time, we should focus on getting support from the international world, from abroad, no matter how big we are, people's life is at risk. That's the idea, the key idea I want to share today. And lastly, I want to do a small comment. Some people were saying they should look for alternative ways of importation after this thing is over. It's very fine. After this thing is over, you can look for the alternative. But when this thing is on, please, I still urge that uh, we can look at China to get the support. Although China's resources are also limited, it doesn't mean if you want to support, you can get it. But uh, if you try it, then there is a chance. People's lives are very important. Nigerians are deserving a better life. Nigerians are great people. And they need to be taken care of. So that's my thinking for today. And uh, I hope you will su subscribe my channel. Subscribe my channel. Follow me 
criticize me, blame me, or like me, or give me suggestions. This is uh, just my beginning of doing videos, and I hope I can do my own small contribution for Nigeria to win the war against the coronavirus. Uh, thank you for the watching.